I see garbage bags like that, I will detour a bit. Coffee beans, nice. Sometimes you get good stuff out of it. Coffee is very useful. It's a stimulant. It's a buff. You can run for a while without expending your energy. Am I running right now? No. You go through food and water a lot faster if you are running. Pain pills, yes. And you may you'll use up your endurance, and then maybe if you run into a horde, you might need that endurance to get the hell out of the way. Eggs and feathers, nice. More trash. Oh. oh, Jesus. I really need to do something about that volume. Emerald Miners, thank you. Thanks for befriending the badger. I'll take the feathers. I don't care about the shells right now. This is preliminary stuff. Shells and forges and stuff come later. Okay, we keep tracking. We keep heading. The chopper. Come with me now. I hear a chopper. Come with me if you want to live and ride in a chopper. Whoa, nest. Hidden. Taken. We're keeping an eye out. Watching. Do I see any food? Like deer. No. Quick check. What do I got? I'll start making a few soon. Sweet. Uh, I've got enough small stones to make another campfire. So I don't need to be picking up stones right now. I've got enough to give me more axes. My main goal, I mean, if I stop and pick up everything, the trip will take longer. My main goal now is to hook up with my friend. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. This is the best, these tips I'm giving you are the best way to survive your first day, which we did by ourselves, no help in seven days to die shelter food water weapons look we got a crossbow now we got 125 rounds of ammunition for that crossbow don't waste shots i showed you how aiming works i showed you how one shot in a deer or a pig you follow them because they're going to bleed out from that shot Now, when I looked at the map earlier, you can see up here is a city. We don't want to go into a city when you're new. Too many dogs, too many things. You don't have the armor. You don't have weapons. You don't have enough stuff to deal with it. Ah, uh, a house. Okay. Let's see what we can make. Club. Let me type in club. Spike club. I don't have ingots. Barbed club, I don't have forged. Reinforced, I only have two, not four. Wooden club, I could if I make more. I think I'll stick with my axe. Wherever there are houses, there are going to be occupants. Even if they're not, you should plan on there being some. Take the feathers. We're going to approach Sneakity. Oh, there's one. Remember, the more we kill... fishing weights. The more we kill, the bigger the heat map gets. Holy crap, there's a woodland village uh, east of you, guy, where I'm at. Yeah, I'll be over there in a few moments. Check it out. A book. See, urban Very combat. Growing, uh, Teach you how to make golden, a shotgun. Golden rod. I've already got them, so they won't help me. File cabinets, paper, a nest. Feathers, got it. Got to be careful here. When that eyeball goes big, and it will soon, you'll see it. When that happens, you're detected. And then it's time to do what badger do. 
There's some more over there. Here's another trick from Badger. Have your frames down where you can use them quick. to be sneaky and quiet here. Because once you're detected, it's on like Donkey Kong. Nothing here. Do I see anything? Yeah, there's a chest there. It's a ladder. Hey, I'm here. Okay. You see this village? Yeah, yeah. very nice. There's some zombies down here, too. A pot. We like the pot. Oh, I forgot. What the hell? I forgot that. Hold on. Put the sticks together. I only need one pot. One pot. Three empty jars. Oh. Where's my empties gonna go? We erect this building. The uh, red car. Damn four pans. Yeah, I'm here in this building. I'll scrap some of them. There's a lot of activity down here. I'm trying to be quiet. There's a uh, zombie here on top of the roof. You search everything you can. Vitamins, nice. I don't have anywhere to put them. Okay, I'm running low on food and water. Hi, guy. Hello, guy. Hi, Badger. I'm going to uh, drink and eat. Oh, they're coming up the stairs. Yes. She's up here. Yeah, I'm just trying to shoot her. I was going to say, don't die on my account. No, I'm... My life is way up there. For some reason, there's a, some type of delay when you transfer from one weapon to another. Two more pain pills. I'll take those. Gotta turn my volume up here so I can hear more better. Now, I'm not using his help at the moment. I mean, I'm looking at stuff. There's more books. Bookcases will always be rewarding. Oh, what's this one? Forge. That's the Forge book. I can go ahead and think I I think I can learn that. Maybe I already have. Cool. Motor oil, that's later. We could use it later. Bullet casing. Yes, got a pipe. Now you see the dial's moving because Guy is the one I'm tracking and he's moving. All right, Guy. 
I need you, because uh, I was tracking on you, I needed you to sort of head the way back towards um, where the camp was. Okay. I wanted to point out to you that this place was here because we didn't know that it was here. It's a nice little suburb. Yep. Now we're not trying to be sneaky. If Guy wasn't here, uh, I might be a little more sneaky. But I had uh, two this is another legs, approach. Just, uh, have sprained legs, so I may not be able to walk as fast. That's fine. You can always fly if you need to. Yep. Well, someone died here. If you see these backpacks, somebody hmm. died here. Pipes, pelts, scrap. Somebody who was trying to survive died here. I will take one of the foods. Because I need food. I didn't loot the bag. I didn't take everything I could. There we go. I'll drink some waters. There we go. So they may have gotten some stuff in that house, and then they came out and got over Rem. Nice little town right there. Yep. Someplace I'll come back to at a future uh, episode and uh, go through more thoroughly. Now, I'm tracking right now. Now, for those watching, I'm tracking right now on my old backpack, which was also where Guy was at. Oh. I have my uh, weapon out from now on. Good deal. I got your back. Yep. Now, normally, maybe your friend could give you a weapon or something, but I'm illustrating... And I'm pretty much taking the same route or path that I would do if I was just tracking on him. Maybe he gets to you, but he's injured, like, like Guy is with a sprained ankle. He can't move very fast, so you stick together. Don't ask him for everything. Don't you know If you're bleeding to death, ask him for a bandage if he's got one. But other than that, you know, handle your business. You're a survivor. Now, somebody was making some noise, wasn't they? Mm -hmm. Over here at the campsite. Campsite over here on your left, I think. There is. But oh, oh, yeah, I'll use the, the wooden club. Thank you, right behind you. Got him. Thanks. Oh, yeah, more food. More food and water. I'll go with the chicken rations. If you got a choice, you can compare. Like, hover the mouse over it. it gives me 10 health. That gives me 2 health. That gives me 30 fullness. Yeah, I'll go with that. If you're short on space. Are you bleeding? No. Planks, I'll, I'll take the planks. Because it fits with what we were already doing. A pot, a cooking stove. I'll take the pot because I can scrap it later. <laughs> Check the backpack. That is an iron reinforced club. That one does... 
5.55533. This one does 5.76. This one does more. I'll leave the other one. Food locker. Ten things and two more venison. I'm already carrying venison, so I may as well. What will I leave behind? I got good stuff. I can leave the four gravel behind. Again, if you were by yourself, maybe the trip's going to take you a couple of days. You want to bring food. You want to bring water. Empty jars are good now that i got a pan. But those things will be there now for the next traveler as well. Yeah, we don't want to fall down there. No. <laughs> I'm going to go on this side of it, on the high side. <clears throat> as again, as I'm pointing out to my uh, friends and viewers, you go to the high side because the bigger the range that you can see, the more the danger you can see coming. And believe me, if there is a horde out there, you want to see it coming. You want to know what direction it is and what direction it's moving. Scrap cans and make space. I could. Yes, although I might need the cans still for boiling water, depending on the distance we need to cover. But I think you're right, I could and should. I will scrap my cans in this instance now. So you take your cans. It's an even number. Only scrap even number. Craft it. That gives me more scrap. Now I'm going to take the empty jars. E. Boom. Jars. That's my Santa hat. There was no weapons, so I'm not getting any weapons. Could I? Yeah, because the server at the moment's on creative. So I could come in here and go, oh yeah, I want a shotgun, I want an Uzi. But I'm not doing that. I'm just demonstrating to you guys uh, how you survive. Now, uh, let me see, I need to drink a little bit more. It's my last water water. I'll move that to there, that to there. I hate to drink that because that will give me the poops. I will drop just the single can, like that. I have pot. Oh yeah, I could I could scrap those too. I want to keep one, and I'll put that there. No, I can put those seven up there. That gives me seventeen more scrap. You want one pot? see more garbage bags oh I like you even if the server is down you still play like it's not even there <laughs> doesn't matter we're just we're showing and growing here oh no well thank you um, the reason it got on creative for those just tuning in yesterday during play our server is normally a PVE server not creative and yesterday during play the server died in the middle of us playing it it's an alpha it can happen well what ended up happening was when they the server came back up it came back up in the state that it was in on Wednesday so we lost Wednesday nights Thursdays Fridays and up to Saturday what we had built so Khaleesi first name's Nicole her server's called Survival by Khaleesi. Khaleesi was kind enough to say, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time with Creative so you can help to rebuild what you lost. So we did. But we didn't go beyond that. When you get to where the Badger Tower is and I show you, the Badger Tower will eventually be 10 stories tall. But I stopped 
right where we had left it off at, or right where it would have been if the wipe hadn't occurred. Now where we're at right now is a good spot again. Remember, we can fill cans up for water. We could get more clay if we need it. Do you need a splint, guy? Excuse me? Do you need a splint? No. Most set. Okay, cool. See. Backpack. Yeah. Looks like I'm all set, so I don't need no splint. Cornmeal and water can be used to make grain alcohol. Uh, I'm not really going to make cornmeal right now. Good deal. There's some more garbage bags. I'm a little bit ahead of him. Nope, don't need it. This is corn. You can pick up the corn. Gives you more food. Oh, see, I picked the bottom one. Oh, I got lucky. Raw corn is not so good for you. Cooking it, though, helps. Or turning its seed into something helps. More feathers. You okay? Yes, yeah. I'm just uh, checking the map. pinch you do what you got to do so we've managed to team up with a friend and we are moving forward nope I'll keep hitting the corn why because it stacks uh, the server crashed, and so there's been a, there was a restart. It doesn't crash very often, though, and time moves slowly for the days. The nights move rather quick, but not the days. Float on top, holding the space bar. You let go of the space Turned bar. Turned on the. Um reflection in the water earlier with a big difference compared to when it's really cloudy. Yeah, it is kind of cool. That's right. Scrap the cans, make space. Yeah, leave, you can leave some sticks behind, although I do like them for making of uh, food and making of... Um, weapons like my, pr my primitive. Now when you run across the road, if it's going in the direction you want, fine. Because you'll always travel faster on a road than you will on any other type of terrain. But, this is not the road, to, it's not heading the way we want. So we're going to basically just keep going this way. It's just garbage. Take it. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Remember, I have all the gear. I could fly if I want. Um, but I'm showing you what you do on your first day. Yes, I did. I, I took away my, my sleeping bag, took off all of my gear. Uh, I cheated right at, the mom, uh, right at the start after I died 
just to give myself the one food, one water, one bandage, and to heal my life up as if I would just have started the game. But after that, I threw everything else away, and I showed exactly how you craft the stuff, how you get in the beginning, and what you do. How to survive on your day one in seven days to die. Kaysen's uh, building looks uh, foreboding from here. Kaysen is an, an amazing builder. A lot, a lot of you guys are. I build very simple, simplistic structures. You guys, you guys build grand, glorious stuff. Yeah, I wish I could do that, but I'm just uh, basic wood and uh, iron. But you're a square. But you, my friend, your friendship is not basic. You rock. Thank you, sir. You do, too. I have pot. Yeah, man, I got totally got some pot. Oops. This is my friend Kaysen's building. Oh, there's a uh, bag here. Another club, rifle bolt, I don't care. Pick the corn, pick the corn. Now I've made it back. Oh, pick the corn up. I made it back. I'm going to show off Kaysen's building for a moment while I'm here. Thanks okay. for helping me get back. You're welcome. So now you've made it to some sort of settlement. And you've got friends or so, and they're hanging out, and you can make use of their tools and stuff. You have survived your first day. You have done well and now you've made it to your your safe zone if you will you've made it to where your buds are you know you're hanging out this is uh, spikes put around to protect his structure look at it look at that beautiful structure he made there goes guy flying again that's cool and we're going to end this up here in a moment not the stream, just the tutorial that I've, I've I've been marking off here. Hey, guy, if you want, go ahead and use uh, an auger or whatever and take down those uh, street lamp things because they don't work. Okay. Just do them from the side so that after it, after it does break, it doesn't accidentally chip into the, the block. This is our base. This is the Badger Tower. I'll go get my auger. The water is nine squares deep. Covered with spikes. No cheating. We did that. I did that. By hand. With freaking pickaxes. The rooms. The base of this is three squares deep with reinforced concrete. No cheating there. We did that. Somebody's door is over there. These. This is the apartments. They're five squares tall for the roof. Why? I'll show you. The reason we made it five squares tall, because you may want to put your own custom floor. You may want to put your own custom ceiling. See, you can decorate. This is the showcase apartment. Here's the bedroom. Here's the bathroom with waterfall, shower, and tub. A vanity, dual vanity, toilets cabinets for storage and our crafting area is in the middle area the stairs go up to the different floors there's going to be 10 floors in here User joined your channel. you can fall as far as you want as long as you're landing on hay and here is where I placed all of my gear when I just when I went and killed myself earlier no, the architect came. is online. Hello. No, I Good came. evening. I brought myself here for some reason. What? Was oh, it? what's going on, guys? I just did a demonstration of what people need to do to stay alive on their first day in Seven Days to Die. Now I'm going to come out of here. Basically, you don't want to pet anything that's going to bite your face off. <laughs> oh wait, you guys may not have seen it. Hold on. This is the tunnel. And the tunnel system connects to the barn, which is near here. This, we dug the crap out of. 
and we had some barrels that we had found and we blew some stuff up this is the adjoining tunnel Guy, Kaysen, yes. and Knotts disagree with you. You are an amazing builder. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, quit crouching. Thank you, Badger. That's Knotts and Guy, or Knotts and the Kaysen agreeing. Now, if you're going to fall into hay, you have to chop off the bottom rung of the ladder, or you will take damage. We come up, we come out. Come over here, more hay. We come up. Whoa, am I seeing Manny online? Wow. We come out. Come over here to the ramp. We come up. What'd you we say, Manny? Out. This was where I first... This is where we first made our base camp. When, we, when I found the base camp. Now I'm taking this sleeping bag, I'll put the corn away for a moment, and I'm going to lay my sleeping bag back where it was. I right like that. Now that becomes my new sleeping bag. So now I have fully gotten all the way back to where I was. I destroyed my sleeping bag. I flew up like this, and then I went so high up and died. Gee, with right? as much time as she's given us, Badger, we got to have the next three rooms done. No, but we didn't. We stopped where where it would have been if the server hadn't crashed. We will build yeah, again once she shuts it off. She's going to be back at about 9 Eastern and turn it off. I have four cobwebs. Cool. There we go. Now, one last thing I want to show you. Flying up. My little two tributes here. Yeah, I just put a door That's on the badger. room taking. <laughs> With a comb over. And now... I want to take off and show you guys this one last thing. I'm flying to make it faster. This is where my friends originally started out at. <laughs> 